Okay, let's take a look at fractions on a TI-92. First off, before we really get into them, uh, I want to push uh, mode, this button right here. And you see see there's um, a bunch of different options here. Uh, this arrow means there's more down below. So if I do my down arrow, you'll see it scrolls down. Now the very bottom here says exact and approximate. And if you choose exact on that, then it'll already be in fraction form. So if I were to do my right arrow key and then up and um, choose exact, and then enter to save that, then let me uh, work the first problem and show it to you. We want to simplify this fraction. So we do 40 divided by 72, and then press enter. And you see it simplifies to 5 ninths. So that's how you can automatically get it in fraction form. Now if I set mode, and I go back, by the way, you see F1 and F2 there, you can very quickly go to it. But my goal is not to show you every detail of this calculator. Okay, so I'm going to do a right arrow and choose approximate and push enter. And now if you did, um, I might have to do a different problem, but if I did 40 divided by 72 and press enter, it does not simplify the fraction. It gives us the decimal uh, portion. So again, you simply go to your mode and um, now I'll push F2 to go there fast. Choose um, the exact approximate, and we want to choose exact. And then press enter. And enter to save that. Okay. Now we already looked at this one. That reduces to 5 ninths. Let's take a look at it adding these two fractions together. So I'm going to do 1 divided by 36 plus 2 divided by 27, and push enter, and it gives us 11 over 108. Adds it, simplifies it, does everything. Now let's look at the subtraction. I'm going to do 2 divided by 5 minus 1 divided by 3, push enter, and um, gives us some. Um, 115. That's pretty, that's pretty bizarre. Huh. Uh, notice that these are written uh, with this slash. This is actually written in fraction form. I wonder what the difference is. Uh, why it puts them in different formats there. Not that it matters for what we're doing. Okay, let's take a look at this one. So, I'm going to press 14 divided by 21 times 9 divided by 7. And then push enter. And um, it's kind of bizarre looking how it looks there, but you see we get 6 sevens. Now, if I were to put parentheses around, let me clear that, and do a beginning parentheses, 14 divided by 21, closing parentheses, times, beginning parentheses, 9 divided by 7, closing parentheses, and then push enter. You see, we still get 6 sevens, but it doesn't put it in this strange format here. Now, you may look at that and say, well, that's not what I entered. How, you know, I wanted to actually multiply two fractions together. It does not matter for multiplication. Uh, for division, uh, I'm going to give you a recommendation uh, that you should always follow no matter what calculator you're using. Okay, if you're dividing two fractions, your best bet is to always put parentheses around each fraction. Now, some calculators will have a fraction capability where you don't have to do that, but I always just, good principle, I just always do it. Then I don't have to worry about whether that calculator handles it or not. So I do beginning parentheses, 20. Divided by 27, closing parentheses, divided by, beginning parentheses, 10, divided by 18. 
closing parentheses. And then you push enter. And it gives us our answer, uh, four thirds. Really bizarre how it does this. <laughs> Put 20 over 27, then down below it looks like, looks like 10 divided by 18, which is correct. I mean, that, but it's weird how it puts one of them in fraction form and the other in division form. Okay, one more. Let's take a look at this. This is a complex fraction, fraction inside of a fraction. And trick here is you just put parentheses around top, parentheses around the bottom. So I'll do a beginning parentheses, 1 divided by 3, plus 1 divided by 5, closing parentheses, divided by, beginning parentheses, 1 divided by 7, minus 2, closing parentheses, and then push enter. And it gives us uh, negative 56 um, over 195. And that's how you do um, fractions on a TI-92 calculator.